So, unless you've been living under a rock for the past two weeks or so, you've probably seen all the flak power world is getting. And how much does it compare to Pokemon? And honestly, who can blame people? They did the classic change it just enough so we don't get caught copying technique from high school. But it's good. So good, in fact, I'm going to treat it like it really is Pokemon and Nuzlocke it. Don't know what a Nuzlocke is? Let me explain. And if you don't care about the rules, I'll go ahead and add a chapter so you can TLDR straight to the episode start. The actual rules themselves are pretty simple. Every pal that you get must be named. Any pal that is knocked out in a fight is considered dead and can no longer be used. If your entire team wipes in a fight, the run is over. However, unlike with Pokemon, the player can actually be knocked out in combat too. If this happens, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to randomly send one of my party members straight to the Gulag, never to be seen again. And to prevent any funny business, anytime I engage with a fight with any alpha or any tower, I have to commit to the fight, win or lose. Simple, right? But how do I actually get my pals? There's three ways that I can get pals. Cage events, defeating alpha pals, and the tour merchants. There are cage events across the map. I can access each one a single time, no matter what's in there. I have to take it. That's my encounter. Anytime I defeat an alpha pal, which is anything with an icon on the map, I can hatch one egg of that pal's primary type, and I can buy one pal one time from each of the merchants, both the pal merchant and the black market merchant. The moment I open their inventories, that counts as the encounter, so I better have gold on hand or, well, I miss the encounter. But how do we win? Well, that's the easy part. Defeat all the alpha pals, defeat all of the towers. Once we've completed that, we will consider ourselves one. Just so my life isn't terrible, if I need something on the base, I'll go ahead and capture it for the base, name it worker. It can't be used in fight, it's not for combat. If I find a shiny pal and I have an alive version of that pal, I can replace the pal that I have with the shiny version. That is the only way I can use them. And that's it. With everything being said, I think that's a pretty good rundown. So let's go ahead and hop straight into it, shall we? I've gone ahead and got the world set up here. We're on day zero, as you can see. Let's hop right into it. All right, here we go. Now there is one thing I'm gonna be doing. Anything that's in the tutorial box, even if it does not fall in line with the rules, I am gonna go ahead and do it just to get that box off the screen. Anything that is captured for that, I will be putting in a separate box and not using, or just considering them workers. All right, now I'm trying to decide because it's possible to choose multiple starting locations. I'm trying to decide if the Plateau of Beginnings is where I want to start. Um, I've decided while running down here that I want to try a different starting location. I want to try this island up here just because it looks cool and I've not very been not really been there already. And of course, do note that you don't have to get into combat to respawn. You can just come hit this button. So we're going to do this once. <sighs> this is going to be the only time that we are allowed to respawn because we're picking our respawn location. And then we're going to be going to the top left island up here. This is where we're going to start. Ice Wind Island. All right. Um, as you noticed, I have some settings set a specific way. I think with us having to get rid of a creature every time the player is defeated in combat, I don't think dropping our stuff is going to be necessary. I think that's more than enough of a penalty. I don't find I played like with hardcore rules on on my normal run where I drop everything. And it's not really interesting. It doesn't add anything to the gameplay. It just kind of makes the run back annoying if you die at night. That's really all it does. Uh, what do we got here? How many years has it been since anyone washed up here? The last person who wound up here was some famous Merc, but they ended up just getting eaten by a dire howl. Pause. What did he say? Hey! Pals are way more brutal than they look. If you come across a carnivorous pal, you best run. Don't even think about looking back. Here, use this. I'll be praying for your survival in this cruel place. Hey, give me that wool, baby. Now, what are we gonna... Th the starter pals are pretty much gonna be the same everywhere. Um, you've got your fox parks, you've got your... Uh, you've got your... T stuff like this. Like, the like these little itty-bitty low-level things. Uh, let's go ahead and hit this waypoint. Yoink. And then we can consider what we want for our starter you know i kind of like tifan as a starter uh, the ability to heal myself is kind of interesting you know i think we're gonna go for fox parks it's either it's between okay so let me talk through this but it's it's between fox parks and kativa fox parks just because i mean it's fox park it's it, it's a that's a vulpix dude who doesn't want to start with a vulpix 
However, Kativa has something interesting going on. I'm not a fan of its attack. However, its passive ability gives me 50 extra weight, which I really, really like. Let's see. Let's see if I can even find a Kativa. I don't think I've seen one since we got to this area have i all right so we have found a kativa but we've also found a rebunny i've never used this before <sighs> oh man are we starting rebunny oh i hope i don't regret this but i think we are yeah we're 100 start starting rebunny i hope i don't regret this dude i don't even know what this ability does go ahead and get our basic tools made and get a bow set up and then we will go catch our rebunny first Oh, hello. You shot that kind of fast. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I got you down pat now. Stop running. In the ball. There's the shot. You go back in. Beat the bunny with the ax. Oh, no, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Get in the ball. Come on. All right. Starter is acquired. Oh, crap. There's a dire howl coming. No, sir. Okay. What do you do? Come on. While in the team increases the attack power of neutral pals. While at the weapon. But at the, while, at, while at a base increases work efficiency if working at what? Oh, so you're like a. Holy crap. Look at the passives. Work speed. You've got a bonus to water damage, a bonus to lightning damage. Um, overall, you've got plus five defense, plus 10 work speed, and minus 15 attack. Eee. Uh, Not the greatest having minus 15 attack as, your, as my starter, but you know what? It's okay. I do like the plus defense overall. I, I am a fan of that. Um, I think it's time for us to go ahead and get a base put down i think i'm gonna build over here there was a lot of metal over there i was i'm really a fan of that i hate having to go far to get metal uh i think i'm gonna go to the top of the hill over there and set up shop over there that looks like a pretty cool place to be also that should limit where we can get raided from because i think they would have to come up the ramp to raid us which will make that all the more easy to deal with nice the base is down all right go ahead and get some basics put together here and with that i went ahead and set up shop made myself a nice little house that any king would love to live in this thing is absolutely glorious and with that i think we can call the starter base pretty much completed don't you Got a nice little second story for us to put a bed on. Got a nice little peek down to look around. I kind of like it. It's cozy. Also, I do think it's about time that Rabunny got nicknamed. Um, I'm st I've been thinking about it, and I just... Uh, I can't really come up with anything good. We're just going to call it Bun Bun. All right, we did get quite a few levels while we were building the house. But we actually have access to quite a lot of stuff now. We got all the way up to level six. Uh, we've got bow and arrow, we've got armor. We've got some of the more basic features for the branch. Just all kinds of stuff unlocked right there. It's pretty nice. Seed box, claw, owl bed. Yeah, we actually have a lot of stuff that we can make. Arrows acquired. Let's go, Bun Bun. <gasps> Try out our first combat versus another Rebunny. Get it. Ooh, that's some good damage. High five, bud. Come here. It's our first kill. Good job. I'm going to hate when this thing dies. <laughs> to stave off that death for as long as possible, I decided to go ahead and uh, test Bun Bun out. Get some kills in, get some levels up. We could definitely use the experience. 
And after helping clear some of the local population down a bit, we ran into our first set of syndicate members. Uh oh, we got the syndicate. Looks like free experience time. And then I think there was a boss or something over here, wasn't there? The mud. I've never fought this thing before. Definitely not going to fight it right now. <laughs> but hey, at least it's there and it's pretty low level. So that could be easy, easy, like early points for us to grab. All right, I've decided I'm going to head into this cave. I'm not going to try to fight the boss just yet. We're only level eight and they do up. They do go up to 13. Um, however, I would like to try to maybe grab the chests if at all possible. Um, it's really just going to be like how many syndicate thugs are there? Uh, but we could come out of here with some nice stuff. Um, and I'm pretty sure if we don't engage the boss, the timer doesn't go away. Amari. We can probably take some kill Amari. Yeah. And I'm out of arrows. God dang it. Oh. He didn't like that too much. Okay, get in there. Wow. Bun Bun, you kind of... You kind of took some damage. Yeah, you know, we have no business being here. Let's get out. We can just go straight on out of here. Let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So we've gone ahead and what we've done here is we've set up a little outpost that way. Because I hate having a, I hate running out of like arrows or something or having a piece of armor break or a piece of weapon or a weapon break, for example. And you gotta go all the way back home and go all the way back like so i'll just set up these stations in random places and mark them on the map that way i have the ability to repair things on the fly need two wood it's faster to get two wood than it is to go all the way back home Ooh. i forgot that was a merchant spawn location we gotta be careful not to talk to them we have well we can talk to the red one we can't talk to the blue one the moment we talk to the blue one we have to buy something or miss out on a on, a, on an encounter okay all right so we are gonna be heading over to this island i want to go ahead and grab the waypoint over there but the second reason is we're coming up on level 10 we're pretty close um Level 10 is what I'm going to attempt to get our first pal uh, from a capture site. And there are actually two sites on this island. Uh, there are zero on our starter island. Oh, and we've got a chest. Let's see. Okay, we'll take that. Of course. Do a little bit more grinding over here. Um, we'll probably just save the arrows. We don't need them for land balls. A little bit more grinding, and then we will see if we can locate a capture site. Okay. So we've got our first... We've got our first, first zone over there. They're only level five. You know what? Uh, let's go ahead and build the premise. Just maybe per ch by chance we leveled up off of that. Um, let's go ahead. You know, I was going to wait till level 10, but I think we can take this. This is only level five. Uh, let's just play it safe. Pull them from over here. All right, we got four, four level fives. Okay, this is going to be light work. I 
don't know why I was so worried about this. <laughs> I, I swear I thought they were gonna be a higher level. Hey, look at that. Easily just demolished them. He's stuck. The pathing is the pathing has been pretty hit or miss, I've noticed, on the syndicate characters. And the like power alliance and stuff, it's been real hit or miss. <gasps> Ooh, we get a floppy. Let's go, dude. I got you, baby. Alright, we have to clear it, which means he has to go. We have to clear it, that's the rule. We can't just yoink and go. We can't just yoink and go. Alright. Our second official pal. Let's go, dude. Let me see you. Not you. You're just a tutorial thing. Yo, come here. Come here. It's a floppy. Okay. But what do we name him? Uh... I don't know. Hmm, I don't know what to name him. Uh, I'll think about it as we're running. All right, I've gone ahead and I'm gonna use these star markers just to indicate which of the locations we have already gotten something from. I think the actual second location is farther up here. So I think that's where we're gonna find our second capture. I'm gonna reclimb this mountain just to double check. And if not, we'll go ahead and head home. I still don't know what Floppy's name is gonna be. You know what? We're gonna name you Flopster. All right, let's take a look at you, by the way. Uh, no passive skills at all. That's a bit weird. Um, hmm. You know, I've never paid attention to this. Do you not get passive skills on liberated pals? If so, that's gonna kind of suck, to be honest. That evening, the syndicate came back for vengeance with our first raid. However, me and Bun Bun made quick work of them. Actually, joke status. something that resembles a uh, barn for the worker bees why don't we go and take a trip on over and see if we can get that other event to pop i'd like to go ahead and get a third pal um if possible uh, we'll see how the timing goes but i may be able to try to take on the boss of our island soon uh i don't know how much damage it's gonna do i don't i've never used it i've never fought it i'm not sure with my lack of confidence in my ability to take out the first balls, I headed back to the player beginnings to go ahead and get a event that I knew would be nearby for an extra pal. What is it? I uh, hear it. In the world is it? Uh... Unfortunately, it's not going to be anything that we can actually capture. But hey, experience is experience. Get in there, Flopster. Come on, take it out. Hey, let's go. You know, I've never defeated one of those before. Well, purposely. I did not know that you got ancient civilization parts from those. That's pretty cool. Get an egg. Anything good? Damp egg. Okay. Don't need that, but we'll grab it anyway. Skill trees are always nice. All right. Let's continue on. 
we we've checked the island next to us the forgotten island a couple of times we've not been able to trigger the capture event on the second area yet uh so i've decided to come over here to the original starting zone because over here there's one or two capture zones and i'd like to get a little bit more of the roster fleshed out so that is what we're on our way to do Ooh, we have the memorous combat event okay we've got to be real careful with that but if we if we're if we're careful we may be able to snipe a kill on something here which would be massive okay this one's getting its butt handed to it holy crap Not the kill. Not the kill. Not the kill. Okay, I don't think we actually sniped the kill. It's okay. But the other guy's not aggroed on us. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some free loot. Why not? All right, we're over by the range tower. Let's see if our event. Oh, I think we got luck. I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's go, Bun Bun. Who's going to be our new buddy? Another shiny. Are you kidding? You know what? We're going to game the system a bit. We're going to get this first because maybe that shiny is a copy of whatever's in here. Maybe. Unlikely. Holy sh... <gasps> it's a Nox! Come on, bum bun. Good job. That everybody that is okay this is probably my favorite cute pokemon <laughs> this is probably my favorite cute one so far why is this aggro to me why is this aggro to me Don't know. All right, let's go ahead and check our knocks. Ooh. Applies dark damage to the players. At <gasps> oh, Noxie. What the f dude? Oh, no. Oh, no. Flopster did not like that. <laughs> Yo. Flopster's a little demon. <gasps> Ooh, we got another event. Hold on. Let's mark this event first. Boom. You know what? I know exactly. Nox Villa. All right. I mean... We might as well keep the streak going, right? Let's go ahead and check the other one. Maybe we get lucky. Let's go, Bun Bun. Get in there. Yo, is that Team Rocket? Well, okay. Is it gonna come down? No? Well, okay then. Oh, was this just the settlement? Oh, man. Uh, you know what? It's fine. I need to get stuff anyway. I need to get these waypoints. Uh, I don't feel like fighting pigs right now. 
With our newest addition in tow, I headed back to base to go ahead and get some more basic things to put down. Typical things like feed boxes, mining place, logging place, things like that. Make the base a home. I also went ahead and captured a few workers just because we were needing help at the house. We didn't have enough people to fill the roles, so it is what it is. You know, I'm already here. I may as well go get the chest, right? And then, can you get the chest without killing the boss? I don't think I've actually tried that. We should investigate that. Yep. Yep. Ooh, red chest. Uh, are we gonna get a schematic in this one? Old, old schematic um i don't think that makes the bow better than the triple shot but we'll find out time to find out if you actually have to defeat the boss in these or if you can just go get the chest i'm assuming it's going to be a cc thing though i'm hoping not but we'll see All right, so it does appear that we have to actually clear this to get in. Not wanting to tackle a full level 13 boss right then and there. I decided to go ahead and go collect some eggs. And in doing so, I ran into a capture event that was way over my level. To be honest, most of the things there weren't a big problem, but the grenadiers are kind of scary. I was almost certain they would one shot me if they hit me. And they do massive damage to my pals right now. As you can see there, Flopster got hit by one grenade and lost, what, 70% health? Kinda crazy. But we came out on top in the end with some clever battle tactics and bada bing bada boom, we have a new member. Not gonna lie, Bristler's ability was super, super bad. Thus, we named it Cheerleader, cause that's about what it was. It was a cheerleader for the team. Go Bristler. You know, I think it's about time we take on the bosses of this island and make it ours officially. I think we're gonna lead. We're gonna lead with Bun Bun, go into Flopster if necessary. We could also we could also just go Knox Villa. Um the damage bonus from Knox Villa on the multi-hit bow is just insanity, man. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna start off with Noxie. Yeah. Get out here. Let's go, girl. We got not one but two bosses to take out, and that'll give us two eggs to hatch. Alright, there it is. First boss, level 14, Alpha de Mud. Let's go, baby. Oh no, that was not a lot of damage. Oh. You know, that little thing shoots faster than I gave it credit for. Was at half health already. All right, let's put the hardest working flopster in the game into the fight. Nah. Why do we have syndicate thugs over here? All right, let's go. Finish this up. 
easy. With how easy that one was, I was kind of feeling myself and just had to go ahead and take on the level 18 boss as well. That one, however, was much more dangerous. There it is. Level 18 Nightwing. Oh, baby. It is a couple levels higher than us. I think as long as I'm on the ball with my dodges, we should be okay, though. All right, here we go. Oh, that did no damage. Did you just half health knocks instantly? Yo, that's wild. Holy sh... You just... On one, huh? Uh-oh. Alright, my shield up. We gotta be careful here. No, no, bun bun. Let's go, baby. Yo, bun bun's getting it. Oh crap! I'm out of arrows. I don't want to get in melee with this thing. Come on, bun bun. Keep shooting it. I'll hold its attention. Nope. All right, flopster. You know what to do. Come on, Flopster. Come on, Flopster. You got this. I'm actually out of arrows. Oh, good go. Go, go, go. Nope. Oh, that was unexpected. Come on. Uh-oh. Flopster's pretty much done here. Cheerleader, you gotta do some work. You gotta do some work, cheerleader. That's what I'm talking about. Get in there. Come on, they've basically done all the work for you. Come on. Okay, cheerleader, you got this, right? There we go. And with that, we are officially the boss of the island, baby. Get out of here. Uh. <laughs> Next time, I should probably make sure I've got enough arrows. Let's get home and get these eggs started, shall we? All right, per the rules, we have defeated one normal type and one ground type. Uh, as far as the eggs go, I don't think we have any large rocky eggs. I did look around for a bit to try to find one before we take the boss on. Uh, I was unsuccessful in doing so, however, and I didn't want to spend hours doing that just because I was going to fight the boss. We'll find one eventually and we'll fight another dark or another ground type. It'll be fine. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to lead off with the rocky egg just because it's going to hatch way faster. And then we'll see what the large boy gets us. All right. First egg. Are you as curious to see what I've got in those eggs as I am? Well, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and check out the next video. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the dislike button. Let me know why. I want to make better videos for you so you enjoy them. And I can't do that without input. See you in the next episode, everybody. Bye-bye.